Okay, so it's the next day now. I really feel like I haven't spoken to the camera a lot this holiday. I've just been filming random bits, so I don't know how these vlogs are gonna turn out, but I'll try and put something together. So we didn't really get much footage of us scuba diving yesterday. The GoPro pretty much <laughs> failed on us. The button got stuck in under the pressure of the water. Um, and we didn't intend on pressing play until we, we were under, but the um, on off button got stuck. So didn't get any videos of the fish or anything, which is a bit sad, but Jack did manage to get it back working as we were on our way back up. So we might have, he's in bed over here. So we might have a few clips of us working our way back up to the surface slowly um, because the camera, the button got unstuck as the pressure went a bit back to normal. Um, that's a bit of a shame, but I did it. I'm so proud of myself. That is completely out of my comfort zone. I did scuba dive in Egypt. I think we went in 2018. Um, and since I just like each year, I'm getting more and more claustrophobic with things. I will jump out of a plane, out of a helicopter, off of a cliff. Like I'm pretty fearless, but for some reason I get a bit claustrophobic and panicky, but I made myself do it. We saw rays, like different types of I think stingray, puffer fish, starfish, octopus. I'm so sad that the footage didn't work, but I did it. So <laughs> I've got a little bit of evidence that I did it. So yeah, now it's the next day. We're actually going jet skiing today. It's quite early in the morning. Actually, no, this is the latest we've been up. It's nearly eight o'clock. We need to head down to breakfast, have some breakfast quickly, and then head over to near where we were scuba diving yesterday, the scuba diving place, because we're going jet skiing. We're going all morning, I think, to about around midday. Um, we start at, I think, 8.40. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go to some caves. We're gonna go to some like different islands, some different beaches, and see some wildlife and stuff. So I'm really excited for that. But yeah, I haven't really vlogged much of the food and things in the hotel, which I'm quite sad about because the food has been phenomenal. I know I said in my Barbados vlogs that we stayed in a Ryu Palace in Cape Verde and it like increased our expectations of everything. It was like the best food we've ever had. Well, this has completely trumped it. It's still a Ryu Palace, but for some reason, it's absolutely amazing. I wish I filmed some more of the food, but I think I filmed more of us out and about this time, um, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, I can see it. You go step out in for when you lose them. Done 
last minute sun cream. <laughs> done it. This is our map. Yeah, I'm well pleased. This is the most I've used the camera the whole holiday. Because <laughs> I feel like I actually can today. We've just got on a shuttle and we're going to be taken down to the sloth sanctuary where all the animals are. It's not just a sloth sanctuary. So their names are Lucy, Mia and Oh my god. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> it tastes a bit like off water. I can't even get any out. Mmm. No. Yeah, not for me. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. They're all like a bluey colour. <gasps> Look at all those. Oh, you can't see. They're all in there. There's loads of them. Oh yeah. Oh, they're so pretty. They have thorax, abdomen, and the teeth. <laughs> Ducks. Oh my god, look at his face. <laughs> it's so it's coming. I've never seen monkeys like that before. Oh, this one's going. Oh, it's pregnant. I don't know if you can tell by how sweaty I am, but it is roasting today. It must be about 34 degrees and it's so humid. <laughs> and it's hard wearing the masks a little bit. But actually, I don't think we have to wear them the whole way round. It was only when there was loads of people watching the, um, what did we watch? The oh, cats, Jaguars. Jaguars. Um, but it's hot, I'm sweating. Um, we're just seeing the rest of the animals and then we're gonna get the shuttle back um, to reception and then back to the hotel and then jump in the pool which is very well needed. We've just been dropped back at the resort, but we've just walked down now to, there's like a strip of shops for the Ryu hotels, because there's Ryu Palace and Ryu, is it Guanacaste? Uh, yeah. Guanacaste, I'm not sure how we say where we are. We um, realized the magnet we just bought at the sanctuary, the animal sanctuary, is the same as the magnets they sell here. So we've already got a magnet. We always collect one magnet everywhere we go because it saves us buying loads of rubbish and tat. So we just collect one magnet and we've got a big magnet board of everywhere we've been together. So it saves us some money. They're quite expensive. I think we just spent 10, 10 pound, 10 dollars on a magnet. Yeah, we're just walking back up to hotel now and finally gonna jump in the pool. But also we've still got some bananas from breakfast. So we're gonna see if the monkeys are still out, but I think they mostly come out in the morning. Look at these views as you come down these stairs. Ready? So pretty. Our room is over there somewhere. And these are all the waterfalls that lead down to the pools. I think there's three or four pools. We've only been in the main one in the middle because that's like where we like to sit. But, oh, I've lost my shoe. <laughs> yeah, we've only been in the middle one, but um, 
there's one in the middle one each side then there's like a pool bar and um, where you can get a swim up bar where you can get drinks and stuff I counted wrong I think there's actually five pools but we've been in one <laughs> we found some monkeys and it's like midday so we've done really well because they're usually here in the morning there's loads found some. There's some over here, there's like babies. Oh. Come on, let's go feed the babies. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at he's putting his hand out. It's our last day of morning monkey feeding so we got our bananas from breakfast and we've headed down we're gonna find the monkeys we found their hidden spot yesterday so if they're not above us we're gonna go to the tree we found yesterday with all of them in it I'm sad I'm gonna miss doing this every morning but I'm excited Ginger, to go and... yeah that's what I was just gonna say I'm excited to go back to my little ginger monkey at home my little Tilly I think the next clip will probably be me being reunited with Tilly because we're leaving today and there's not much interesting to film. We're just going to feed the monkeys, chill by the pool and then shower and then we're going to have to head to the airport. Yeah, we've only come for a week. Everyone says that's mad. Usually when you tell people you've come all this way for a week, they're like, what? Why wouldn't you go for longer? But unfortunately, we don't have unlimited annual leave and we'd rather go on lots of different holidays a year than just like two long ones. So we're saving some annual leave for the summer. And also in September, we're going to Florida for two weeks so if you like the travel vlogs hopefully I get better at doing this because I know this has been a bit rubbish this time but um yeah lots of travel vlogs to come hopefully and hopefully I'll get a bit better also I know a lot of these clips for these vlogs in Costa Rica have been on my phone so I don't really know what the quality has been like um, but hopefully shut up <laughs> hopefully I can edit something together also I just want to say coming for a week has been absolutely fine we have done everything we've wanted to do within like Guanacast I'm sure it's Guanacaste Guanacaste but we've done everything we wanted to do I think the people that say you need to come for longer are people that can sit down and chill for longer by the pool but me and Jack are doers we just can't sit down for very long on the first day we're absolutely fine but any longer than a day or a couple of days of chilling by the pool we get fidgety and want to do something um, but a lot of our activities we've done in the morning and been back for lunchtime and then spent the rest of the day chilling. So we really do feel like we've been here longer than a week and also got everything done and had a relaxing time. So if you want to save up your annual leave, don't let it put you off that it's a 12 hour flight because <laughs> Jack actually drives me mad. Yeah, what I was saying is don't let it put you off that it's a 12 hour flight because to be honest, if you were going to go to the Caribbean, that would be a nine hour flight. So what's three more hours? You'd probably be sitting at home on your phone anyway. It doesn't make much of a difference. We will definitely be back to Costa Rica because Costa Rica is absolutely massive. But honestly, we've had the best time ever. And just come to Costa Rica, it's amazing. Oh, oh my God. Oh. I'm sure this is the same one that's been eating out of us all day. I know, you think they're gonna scratch your hand off, but they don't at all. Thank you, no problemo. Oh my goodness! Hello! Hello! Hi! Hello, baby, look at you, at your hair car! It's mummy! It's mummy moon! Oh, hi! <laughs> She looks so little. No, it's me. 